Hi, my name is Jen Cohen and I am with Max Health Chiropractic and I am the chairwoman for our health and wellness committee with the Wellington Chamber of Commerce. We are comprised of like-minded healthcare and medical professionals and fitness instructors and we are committed to working together for the healthcare industry of our community. I'm really excited to continue our getting to know you video series where we get to know some of our fellow chamber members that sit on our health and wellness committee. And today I am interviewing Allison Nedry and Melissa Morante. We're co-owners of Home Care Care Senior Services. We're a non-medical home care provider. And basically what that means is we provide care to people in their homes. So we also have very unique expertise in Alzheimer's, other types of dementia, Parkinson's disease. So Allison and her husband Tino are nationally certified Alzheimer's educators. I am our Parkinson's care expert, and so Tino and I do all of our caregiver training in those uh, chronic illnesses. Wonderful. Ladies, you are such a wealth of knowledge, and we were so excited to hear you speak at one of our past um, health and wellness committee meetings. You guys had so much information that you brought to the table, and um, I really want to hear more about how you can help um, grow our health and wellness community. How do you help um, other healthcare professionals? So I think um, what we do a lot of is education. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't know what you don't know. And even as you mentioned, when we did the health and wellness committee presentation, it's all health industry right. people, but they still had so many questions about the variety of services that we could provide. People really don't understand non-medical versus medical, where the doctors get involved, what Medicare covers, what Medicare doesn't cover um, and things like that. So, it really, you know, in terms of the education, there really is so much to learn and so much to know. And so just being able to share that information is really helpful for everybody in the community. For anybody in the healthcare industry, as well as people that don't know. So you guys are so wonderful at that. And thank you for sharing that last presentation. It really was very, very good. Um, where do you see the future of health and wellness going in Palm Beach County and in Wellington? Yeah, you know, look, I think it's, likely not without its challenges, right? The population is expanding and aging. And so resources are limited. Um, but on the flip side, right, that gives everybody that is in business here in this industry a real opportunity to grow uh, and be able to serve that population. Absolutely. And so as our community grows, so does the different services that we can provide to everybody of really all ages. And especially as people are getting older, you all can help provide that for them and give the families the right, the right direction as you know their parents or their um, older relatives are, are aging and they need that help. Right, and I think the stat is still 10,000 people a day are turning 65 um, every day. And unfortunately, as we see, especially living here, most of the family members don't live here. What's the stat? 200 miles is where the, the, average, the average adult child, child lives 200 miles away from their parents. So they're not here to do the day-to-day -day assistance and right. things that the, that their parents need. So they're relying on professionals, you know, in the industry right, so. to advise them and guide them and really be the eyes and ears, you know, yeah. to make sure things are going well and people are safe and, Getting okay. the you know the services that they Definitely. need. Yes, very good. Well, thank you, ladies. Um, what advice would you give another health or wellness business owner? <laughs> Gosh, I would say meet everybody you can. Right, everybody. <laughs> right, regardless of what business you're in, everybody is a potential referral source, and you just never know who could use or need your services. Or if nothing else, right, just make the connection, be a resource, point them in the right direction to your point earlier, right? So, exactly. Yeah, meet as many people as you can. That's right. Shake hands. And that's a really great thing about the chamber, too, is we have so many different opportunities for people to meet and connect yes. and network. So um, what has the Wellington Chamber done to help impact your business? So I think the chamber has given us a lot of opportunity. As with all of the events, there's always great opportunity to meet people. They're all very well attended. Um, the educational opportunities. The um, recordings like this mm -hmm. that Michaela sends out um, has been great. So we've actually gotten a lot of, you know, quote unquote publicity 
through the chamber and it's all been really beneficial. Wonderful. Well, I'm really happy to hear that. So something more fun and lighthearted. Um, Melissa, are you a morning person or an evening person? Oh, morning person, hands down. And what same. do you do, <laughs> same for Allison. So ladies, what do you do to get yourself going in the morning? Oh gosh, a good workout and a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> Even in the middle of August in South Florida, it's gotta be a hot cup of coffee. That gets you going. That gets same, same, same. You see why we're sisters and business partners, right? <laughs> same. <That's easy. laughs> so after a very busy day, now both of you are parents and you're busy doing a hundred different things. What do you do to wind down at night? Oh God. Um, I do, I got hooked on thousand piece puzzles. So oh, okay. I, Put myself in the dining room, I do my puzzle, and that is my downtime. I love it. Oftentimes with a glass of wine. Of course, <laughs> absolutely, of course. Um, there isn't really much time to wind down <laughs> after crazy schedules. I normally just go right to bed, but if I have the chance, I really do love to just sit and watch like good old fashioned TV and just chill for an hour and decompress. Then, yeah, just decompress. And Excellent. Go to bed to Awesome. And then um, what about a motivational quote or a message that's something you kind of just keep going back to, you gravitate to that helps you? I think for me, um, I always, I always say it's easier to stay well than to get well. And so we talk a lot about that in our business, right? To our family caregivers, mm -hmm. um, when they're caring for a loved one with a chronic illness, you have to take care of yourself, right? You cannot serve from an empty vessel. And if you don't take care of yourself, everything else suffers. And so it's really important, even when you're running a business and running a family and hurting everybody from point A to point B, you really do have to make the time and take care of yourself because if you get sick and you're not well, then you're really no good to anybody else. That's very true. And we preach that a lot too. And our family and our businesses, it is, it's very easy to take care of yourself, or much easier to take care of yourself because when you're not, everybody else suffers along the way. Allison, what do you think? Um, I would say mine is more don't sweat the small stuff. Mm -hmm. Life is too short. Um, so just be really thankful for what you have and appreciative, you know, for what you have and the people that, you know, help you get, get those things. Great advice. Excellent advice. I love talking with you ladies. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank and you. thank you all for tuning in and please um, keep watching. This is one of many of our dynamic series, getting to know you where you get to know our health and wellness committee members a little bit more about their business and about them personally. So keep on watching. Thank you.